Thunberg is going to fail. I'm really sorry to say this, but she is not going to change the world because we are listening to only half of her message. Who is Greta Thunberg? Last year, a 16-year-old girl in Sweden decided to bunk school every Friday. Not for fun, but to sit in front of the parliament and tell the world that what's the point of going to school if the world is going to end. I want you to act as if the house was on fire. I have said those words before and a lot of people has, has explained why that is a bad idea. A great number of politicians have told me that panic never leads to anything good. And I agree. To panic, unless you have to, is a terrible idea. But when your house is on fire and you want to keep your house from burning to the ground, then that does require, require some level of panic. We are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction and the extinction rate is up to 10,000 times faster than what is considered normal, with up to 200 species becoming extinct every single day. Erosion of fertile topsoil, deforestation of our great forests, toxic air pollution, loss of insects and wildlife, the acidification of our oceans. These are all disastrous trends being accelerated by a way of life that we see as our right to simply carry on. Our house is falling apart and our leaders need to our leaders need to start acting accordingly because at the moment they are not. If our house was falling apart, you wouldn't hold three emergency Brexit summits and no emergency summit regarding the breakdown of the climate and <laughs> environment. <laughs> if our house was falling apart, you wouldn't say that you have the situation under control and place the future living conditions for all species in the hands of inventions that are yet to be invented. And you would not spend all your time as a politician arguing about taxes or Brexit. To do your best is no longer good enough. We must all do the seemingly possible. And it's okay if you refuse to listen to me. I am, after all, just a 16-year-old schoolgirl from Sweden. But you cannot ignore the scientists, or the science, or the millions of school-striking school children who are school-striking for the right to a future. I beg you, please do not fail on this. She inspired the youth to protest for the environment more than anybody else ever, starting a worldwide youth-driven environmental protest. But all of this will be a waste if we keep pointing our fingers at our leaders. Yes, they are responsible for climate change. This guy is letting the Amazon burn. This guy thinks climate change is a hoax. And even in India, there is so much apathy towards our environment. 3.5 lakh trees will be chopped down in Jharkhand for building a dam. We are mining for coal in Chhattisgarh at the cost of 1,700 square kilometers of dense forest. Speaking of disappearing forests, RA is not even a forest. Our politicians are selling our soul. But who chose these guys? We did. Everything we do adds carbon into the atmosphere. Carbon traps heat and makes our planet hotter. Did you know we lost 10 billion tons of ice in Greenland in one day in August? This melting ice is going to increase sea levels and this is going to affect us really bad. Because hey, we are surrounded by the sea. Do you want to hear something even scarier? In the north, there are ancient diseases trapped in ice. And when the ice melts, these diseases are going to come for us and we are not ready for them. Winter is coming. And we are a part of the problem. Then who are we protesting against? Understand this. This movement is not just climate strike, it's climate strike and action. And this second half of Greta's message is being lost somewhere. We like a story where we are the heroes saving the world and there is a villain out there. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we are the villains. So let's understand the three points Greta wants us to act on. Protect, restore and fund. Let's protect our wildlife. Let's restore our forests. 
and let's fund ideas for a better future. Future. Fridays for Future. Fridays for Future is a great hashtag. But what use is it if it doesn't become a part of our lives? And our lives are full of things that destroy the planet. Our AC is making our room cooler, but it's making the world hotter. Our cars get us to our destinations quicker, but leave CO2 in the air for longer. Our parties bring the close ones closer, but why do we waste so much food when there are so many people dying of hunger? So what are you saying? Shall we stop living our lives? We are not doing anything illegal. Please don't misunderstand me. If you can't sleep without an AC, put it on. If you want to eat beef for dinner, have it. If you have to take a car to work, go for it. But can we choose one day in a week not to do this to strike off one thing we are guilty of? Fridays for future. Number one, let's not waste food. 33% of all the food produced in the world gets wasted. When we waste food, we also waste all the energy that has gone into producing and processing it. If you have a party and you expect that you'll have leftover food, contact these guys and they'll come and take it from you and give it to somebody else in need. Number two, we must save electricity. Learn how to put your AC on sleep mode. If you can't live without an AC, put it on 22 degrees temperature. Let's talk to our society secretary and get solar panels for geese. We get so much sunlight, it's stupid that we don't use it. Number three. Let's take public transport more often. At least once a week, try to take a bus or train to work. Start carpooling. Why do we make owning a car such a big status symbol? A developed country is one where people who can afford a car choose to use public transport. I really want to ask our celebrities who really cry about the environment, who never take public transport, who never repeat their clothes to avoid a fashion blunder, and who feel tweeting about something is activism. Your gig is up. We are done making wrong people our heroes. The world needs real heroes like Greta. The world needs action and not just talk. So let's share ideas and implement them because we are in the end game now and we must assemble or otherwise we will be wiped out just like that. The call for the environment is not a one time thing. Holding a placard in hands is a good start but let's think how to go ahead. And it all starts with admitting that yes, I am guilty and I want to change. And I know that changing some habits is the most difficult thing to do. But I am not making this video for the 99% who won't even try. I am making it for the one person who will. I have given some actual solutions that you can implement. Tag a friend, share this video and challenge them to change. Because one person trying to save this planet is one less person trying to destroy it. Because what does one thing do with one thing? But it does a lot of difference between one and one. And in both lines, there is only one difference. That's the reason why for a part